Welcome back Star Wars fans to episode 87 of Reynolds Reviews and on today's episode we've got a surprise gift donation to the channel and the 500 sub giveaway winner. Cue the match. Welcome back everyone. Now, like I said in the intro, today we're going to take a look at a surprise gift donation to the channel as well as reveal the 500 sub giveaway winner. Now, uh, I was contacted out of the blue last week by Barry, a member of our community. You may know him better as I am the Dave. Now, uh, Barry contacted me the first time we'd ever spoke, introduced himself, uh, explained how he was enjoying the content of the channel uh, and would like to send me a gift donation. Now, whenever anyone contacts me and explains that they'd like to send me something, I am always, always so grateful and so humbled and, and just shocked that anybody uh, would think enough of the channel and the content that would want to do uh, something like that for me. So we had a really nice chat, a really good get to know you chat. Um, and at the end of it, Barry was quite insistent that he would like to send me this gift donation. Uh, so obviously I gratefully accepted. Um, so thank you so much, Barry. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'm so excited to get inside the box and see what you've sent me. So uh, yeah, I really do appreciate it. Uh, but watch till the end, everyone, because we're also going to reveal the 500 sub giveaway winner and reveal who has won the Bike Scout helmet. Want to get to it? Come on, let's dive in. Okay, so here is the package. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, and we are in. So, some fantastic stuff in here already. We have got a note, so let's read that. Okay. And the note says, hey Luke, uh, thought I'd send you these for your collection and show my support to your channel. I've put in two Scottish favourites for you and your family to try. I recommend a cup of tea with a shortbread. Keep up the great work, Barry. I am the Dave. So thank you again, Barry. I will be keeping this note. I keep all my notes. Uh, they all go into a little box all together uh, because they, they mean a lot and they're very sentimental. So let's take a look at what's in the box. Now, two Scottish treats, he said. So the first one is... Tunnix marshmallows. Look at those. Or tea cakes. They're fantastic. My grandma used to get these. Fantastic memories of these. Not had them for a long time. So, oh, wow. You're right. They will go down fantastic with a cup of tea, Barry. I think I might lose some of them to Connor, though. He likes them. And look at this. Traditional Scottish shortbread. Dip them in a cup of tea, no problem. They look fantastic. Oh, it even says on the back, look. Have with a cup of tea or a coffee break. Nice. Definitely be trying those. Thank you. Some more cardboard. Now then. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have got... I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Because he did say he was going to send. Now, some of you that watch me may know, some of you may not, that uh, I have resisted... Um, Masters of the Universe Origins for quite a while now uh, and the one thing that was stopping me was the, the new head sculpts when they released I thought they looked fantastic I loved them didn't have many when I was a child but my cousin had loads and we used to play with this quite a lot so I have got that nostalgic connection but I resisted the Origins line because the new head sculpts even though I did like them I wanted the old heads and then they released them with the old head sculpts so uh, I bought Skeletor and He-Man with the vintage heads loved them started collecting them now but i've started picking up some vintage ones as well um, and i'm pretty sure this is one that i haven't got and this oh wow he looks in fantastic condition as well this is he-man himself now we're going to take a closer look at the end so uh, don't panic but yeah oh wow look at that classic he-man still need him fantastic nice and stiff limbs as well oh wow Thank you so much, Barry. We're going to take a closer look at these at the end. So, ah, okay. So, oh, wow. So I'm not going to get them out. I'll get them at the end. So they're He-Man's weapons, shield, sword, and battle axe. Fantastic. Wow. And we've got one more thing. This is very well wrapped. Now... I know what this is, but I don't know what this is, and that will make sense when I open it. So, Barry knows 
that I am now on to the last 17 of my vintage Star Wars figures. But I've only got three so far. This is four, but I don't know. Oh, what? Barry, what have you done? Oh my God. Okay. So, Barry has sent me Luke in Stormy Gear. Oh, wow. Oh, and he's immaculate. He is absolutely immaculate. My God. Oh, my God. And he's got his blaster and his, his helmet is there as well. Oh, look, the condition's unbelievable. Oh. Barry. Thank you, these are unbelievable. Oh my God, oh, I don't know what to say. Let's take a closer look at them. Okay, so let's look at classic He-Man first. Now, like I said, I've just started picking up uh, Masters of the Universe now. It's an amazing line, the Origins, but the minute I started picking up the Origins, of course I started seeing the vintage ones and who can resist vintage Motu? So I've got a handful, started to pick up a few. You may have seen them in the background while I've been doing the video, but. He-Man, classic He-Man is one that I don't yet have, but now I do, thanks to Barry. So thank you, Barry. I mean, look at this guy. Really, really awesome condition. Not really any paint loss on his hair. That's usually where they've got some paint loss. Eyebrows are there. Often the eyebrows have sort of rubbed off, but absolutely unbelievable. All his weapons as well. So I've got his sword just in, tucked in his back there. Shield and battle axe. And I've got some pretty cool little stands as well. So he looks unbelievable. Let's just spin him round. So as you can see, I've just got his sword tucked in his back there. But these uh, these sort of straps are often split and, and, and broken. So again, absolutely. I mean, I can't believe the condition of this guy. A little mark. Looks like a little red mark on his leg there, but absolutely nothing. I mean, look at how awesome he looks. I am so, so pleased with this. I mean, I'm blown away, Barry. Thank you. I love classic He-Man as well. He is just so difficult to get in good condition. Stiff limbs, all his accessories. Um, it would have taken me a while to get him. So I am absolutely staggered by this donation. Uh, and this is only part of the donation, as you know, but absolutely blown away. Look at him. I cannot wait to get him displayed in the base and into my collection. Wow absolutely unbelievable so thank you barry i cannot i cannot compliment this guy enough he is absolutely unbelievable love him okay so let's move on to luke and there we go so there is uh, last 17 luke in stormtrooper gear now what is wonderful about this is I've only got three of the last 17, now I've got four, uh, thanks to Barry. But if somebody said to me, you can only pick one character from the last 17, and that's the only figure you can own, this is who I'd pick. He's always been my favourite of the last 17, and I think he should have been released right at the start of the line, uh, the vintage line. He should have been released in, back in 77. I think he should have been one of the first to come, and we should have had Han in Stormy Gear as well. But um, I absolutely love this figure. Now, obviously, I know people have had issue with the head sculpt in the past, and the head sculpt's not great. But I just, as a character and as a figure, I love it. And look at the condition again. No discoloration. I mean, look at his hands. No paint off the hands. I mean, not only has Barry gifted these to me, but usually you can be forgiven. If someone sends you something as a gift, often it's because maybe the condition's not great and they're happy to part with them. But... These are immaculate. I mean, look, no paint loss on his hair. The condition is staggering. Absolutely staggering. I mean, look, there's no paint missing whatsoever. Often the black sections are rubbed and you can see where they've been scratched, but wow. Absolutely unbelievable. And then we've got his helmet. And again, helmet the same. Look, there's just no marks on it, nothing. Sorry if the white balance is, is poor, it's difficult to film without getting um, sort of reflection on the white, but nothing rubbed off the eyes. Unbelievable, let's put this on him. There we go. 
And of course the beauty of this is it can double up as a Stormtrooper, but wow. Again, unbelievable Barry, thank you so much. I have absolutely no words. Um, just unbelievable um, gifts. I cannot thank you enough. I'm so humbled and just so flattered by this. Um, I cannot thank you enough. I mean, that's two figures as well as the, the snacks. We'll get everything back in in a moment, but I cannot thank you enough. I'm absolutely blown away by your generosity. So thank you again. Luke Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you. So there we go everybody, and look at that for a final shot. Is there a better gift box anyone could receive? Some shortbread fingers, Tonux tea cakes, uh, vintage classic He-Man with all his accessories, and Luke in Stormtrooper disguise. Now, uh, thank you again, Barry. I don't know what else to say, really. I know I've said thank you a million times. I'm gonna say it again. Your generosity is absolutely unbelievable. I am staggered by this donation. Uh, the figures are in unbelievable condition. Luke in Stormtrooper disguise especially, he is absolutely immaculate. I have no idea how to thank you for this. Um, words just don't seem enough, but I'm going to enjoy the tea cakes and the shortbread and I cannot wait to get He-Man and Luke in Stormtrooper disguise into my collection. Uh, so thank you again. I'm so humbled and so appreciative uh, of this. So thank you. Uh, okay, but we're not wrapping up the video, guys. Uh, you'll be waiting to see who is the Farringer Sub giveaway winner for the 1.1 Biker Scout helmet. So let's go find out who the lucky winner is. And there we go, everybody. So just before we get started, I just want to give a huge, huge shout out to everybody that helped me promote this giveaway video a couple of weeks ago now uh, two weeks ago i put out that i was going to do this giveaway uh, i put a video out to advertise it and then all my youtube chums uh, all my friends on social media including people like david toy uh, promoted this video promoted this giveaway and my subs went absolutely through the roof for 24 48 hours i gained around 70 80 subs in around two days absolutely unbelievable so uh, thank you to everybody that helped promote this giveaway video i really do appreciate that uh, okay, so there she is. So without further ado, you don't want to hear me waffle on. Uh, let's go find out who our lucky winner is. And there we go. So generally, if you follow the channel and follow previous giveaways, what I generally do is use a random generator wheel and put everybody's name onto a section on that wheel. Spin the wheel, and then whosever name pops out, that is the winner. Now, I've done it slightly different this time because I've had that many entries and such a fantastic response. Uh, I put everyone's name on the wheel and they were so tightly packed together, it just looked a total mess and you couldn't read anything. So... What I've done is I've used a number wheel and I've assigned everyone's name to a number. Uh, we're going to spin the wheel, whichever number comes out, we're going to match it to the name and that person will be the winner. So uh, I'm going to put the list on the screen now. So this might be a good time just to pause the video and see if you can find your name and see your number. And without further ado, let's find ourselves a winner. And the winning number is number 48. So let's just see who that corresponds to. And the winner is uh, Death Star 1973. So congratulations, Death Star 1973. Commiserations, everybody else. But thank you for everyone that entered. Uh, it was a fantastic giveaway and you really did make this uh, a fantastic video. So thank you to everybody. Uh, but yeah, congratulations, Death Star 1973. Let's go see what you've won. And there we go everyone, so congratulations once again to Death Star 1973, commiserations everyone else, but thank you to every single person that ended, you have all made this an absolutely unbelievable giveaway video, the amount of entries uh, is extremely humbling, I'm so so pleased it had such a good response, uh, so thank you to everybody who entered. Uh, so yeah, jump into the comments, Death Star 1973, we'll arrange some details for you and we'll get this in the post ASAP. So there we go everyone, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and giving me a shot. I hope you'll consider leaving a like and subscribing. And if you're one of my existing subscribers and existing viewers, thank you for sticking with me everyone. I really do appreciate it. Leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. I always try to read everyone's comments and get back to everybody. And as always, keep collecting. I'll see you next time.